So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to transform your, you know, straight canicolon hair into bomb, expensive looking, kinky, curly, drawstring ponytail. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As always, I am super, super excited to have you guys here today. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. And if you are a returning subscriber, like, welcome back, welcome back, like, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> This is kind of like the part two of this very tutorial. If you want to see how I got my hair sleek, make sure you check that out. Like, how would you watch how to do a drawstring ponytail and you don't watch how to sleek your hair? So make sure you just check that out. Everything is going to be linked in the description box below. I had so much fun filming this tutorial and I hope this tutorial is going to help someone out there who wants to style their natural hair that's short or you just want to style a natural hair and you don't want to spend so much money. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using one pack of Expression Canicolon here and I got my new color too. So because I wanted a ponytail that wasn't too long, I decided to cut mine into three. And as you can see, this is just me cutting the hair into three equal parts, like they're all the same length. So now when you cut your hair, you find out that you're going to have this blunt cut and this is not what you want. You do not want to just go ahead and start doing your drawstring ponytail with your edges or with your, with, yeah, with your edges being blunt. You want to make sure Sure you feather them out so right now as you can see i'm just pulling the hair to make sure that i feather it out and as you keep pulling you find out that the hair is going to look really rough and that is exactly what you want after pulling the entire hair you just want to go ahead and use your brush and brush it out to make sure that our tips don't look blunt but we want our tips to look you know kind of like a pencil you know <laughs> After feathering out your connector head, the next thing you want to do is get your mesh cap and place it on the mannequin head. So as you guys can see, I have already crocheted the hair, like the perimeter of the hair. And for this hairstyle, you want to crochet your hair just around the middle of the mesh cap. I did it on camera, but I discovered that my camera has stopped recording and I didn't know. So I decided to start from this point. So what you want to do is to, you know, crochet your hair around the middle of the cap and you want to start from the outer perimeter and walk towards the middle of the hair just so that as you're crushing the hair you don't have hair you know getting in your way so right now look i'm just you know doing like regular crochet braids on this mesh cap i have so many tutorials on my youtube channel showing you guys how to do crochet braids so if you don't know how to do crochet braids make sure you check them out because i'm going to link them down in the description box of this tutorial if you're someone that likes kinky curly extensions or kinky curly clippings or any type of kinky curly hair then this is just going to be the answer to your prayers in 2019 period i was trying so hard to see how i could get a kinky curly texture that actually match my kinky curly clippings and this was beyond perfect So now that we're done crocheting the hair to our wig cap, I'm just showing you guys a kind of like 360 degree so you guys can see. And again, like I said, you want to make sure you crochet just the center of, you know, the wig cap. You don't want to go ahead and crochet the entire wig cap because this is going to be a drawstring ponytail. So you want everything to kind of like be centered in the middle and you understand why in a couple of seconds. So right now, I'm just brushing my hair to make sure that there are no tangles because we are going to be curling this bad boy up. If you're going for a straight look, you can actually just stop at this point and wait till when I get to the part where I will be putting the ponytail together and see what I do. Alright, so the next thing we are going to do is to curl this hair. So right now you want to take out a um, little amount of hair and you want to place your straw on top of the hair. 
and as you can see i'm just going to gently wrap the hair around the straw i'm going to go like three times and then i'm going to bend the straw down and secure with a bobby pin just so that you know the hair does not unravel as i keep curling downwards and the curls remain tight you know pinning it down i'm going to go ahead and wrap the remaining kanekonon hair around the straw until i get to the very end so to achieve this look you don't want to just go ahead and just start wrapping no you want to twist and then wrap so twist and turn twist and turn you just want to keep doing that until you get to the very end of the hair wrapping the entire hair to the straw you want to kind of like bend the end of the straw and secure that as well with a bobby pin and this is just going to make sure that you know your um the hair doesn't unravel because i mean if you don't secure with a bobby pin this is just going to come off once you're done so yes you want to secure that with a bobby pin Okay guys, so this is what it looks like after spending about 30 to 45 minutes trying to wrap the hair. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and soak this hair in hot water. But one thing I like doing to reduce the amount of frizz that comes with synthetic hair is applying some conditioner into my hot water before placing the hair. And this is, this is some of that tip, okay? <laughs> So right now the hair is dry. To go ahead and do the drawstring, I'm going to be using an elastic and you want to measure about 25 to 26 inches and this is just going to make sure that you have enough space when you are attaching the ponytail to your hair. So after attaching your elastic band to your um, ponytail, you want to go ahead and add a drawstring stopper. This is optional, you know, just to make sure that once you attach this to your hair, it it doesn't move. This is for my babies. So right now I am just taking up this trust and girl, this is so beautiful. I mean with the rave of, you know, kinky curly clippings all over the place like on Instagram everywhere, this is a big steal. For someone who's going back to school and you don't have so much money, like you don't have $100, $200 to spend on kinky curly extensions, this is like, like I said, this is just going to be the answer to your prayers, period. I don't want nobody else and even if you let your hair what? like so many tutorials and i'm just trying to make sure that i give you guys videos like back to back so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications guys because i am going to be posting a lot of videos i promise you guys like in 2019 we are going to slay here we're going to shake youtube we're going to show the world that yes 
we rock and as black women and as black queens and as women of color we can do anything with our hair don't feel frustrated okay don't feel frustrated if your hair looks hard don't feel frustrated if your hair looks unmanageable like i said i've got you guys covered and i have so many tutorials coming up on how to manage your natural hair on how to style your natural hair on how to just rock your hair throughout 2019 thank you guys so much and i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next tutorial which is right here in the description box so click click just make sure you click and check that out feel free to check me out on instagram as well feel free to send me a dm and i'll be more than glad more than happy to respond okay <laughs> all right guys till then bye Stilettos. You're naturally my favorite girl. You're naturally my favorite girl.